So today I'm gonna to be showing you my daily routine. I do this in like 10, maybe 15 minutes every morning if I'm gonna wear makeup. So if you wanna see how I get my daily makeup look, keep on watching. So this video is like one of my highly request videos of all time so far. People wanna know my daily makeup routine. Obviously I do a lot of full glam coverage tutorials where it's false lashes, baking, contour, the wigs, everything, being a mum and a wife and having a house to look after. I do not do that makeup daily. Otherwise, I would forever be in my glam room and never actually going in the outside world. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you today my daily essential products. This is a really quick and easy tutorial. For some, it still may be heavy on the product side. For some, it may not. Um, but this is just my routine, so no judging, no hate please. So on them days where I need to get out of the house and do the school run, or go to Tesco's, do my food shop, <laughs> anything like that, this is what I do. A lot of times, yeah, I don't wear makeup, to be fair. If I'm just doing the school run and I'm around the house all day, chances are I'll have no makeup on. So it really varies on the day whether I can be bothered to do the makeup because I do love the skin that I'm in and I'm confident not wearing makeup as well. So it really just depends if I feel like I want that extra glam to go into town or just make myself feel really good or if I'm just gonna be around the house cleaning then I don't wear makeup. So after brushing my teeth and cleansing my skin, I go in with my face cream. Now I know this has been repackaged, it's not this packaging anymore, but it is the Botonics from Boots. It is the Hydrating Day Cream with SPF 15 in. I love this cream because it is so lightweight, but it really does hydrate your skin really well. I do put quite a lot of cream on. I do have quite dry skin. And I always do my skincare on the neck. Little tip. My skin is just so thirsty. It's ridiculous. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you will know I have been a face mask holic at the moment. I love doing face masks, especially the Garnier Moisture Bond ones. They just make my skin so radiant and really hydrate my skin so that's why my skin's not looking too bad at the moment I have these blemishes here I always get blemishes on my chin though since I've had my son I get really bad hormonal blemishes like on my chin area okay so going on to my makeup bag I have this Beauty and the Beast makeup bag it is really big um, my products don't even feel a quarter of this but it's so handy when I go traveling, that's why I have a large one. Let's dive in. So first of all, I go in with some primer. I like to use the Infallible Matte Primer because it goes with my foundation. And I find it's just one of the best primers ever. It just covers all the pores and it gives such a smooth face. It feels so nice on the skin. Mine's a bit dirty, but I love this brush for applying foundation. So it really helps blend in and you can get into all the creases with the angle at the top. So you all know this is my trusty favorite foundation ever. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Matte. I love this foundation. It is just amazing stuff. So this is what I do when I'm in a hurry. I literally just put some blobs on the brush both sides like that and I literally just do dots on my face I'll just go in and buff it and with the angle you can really get in the creases so like round your nose sometimes it's hard to get but this brush is so good. Then if I've got any blemishes, I will go in with a bit of concealer and then go in with the blending pad. Then I'll go in with some concealer under my eyes, just to make me look more awake. But it 
just use a tiny bit of concealer under the eye. Now I'll go in with a blend pen and just buff that in. This just helps me look more awake in the mornings, especially on school runs. If I just like to have my eyes, you always want Then to set my foundation and my concealer quickly, I would go in with my Manicada HD Perfecting Powder. I just get a small little fluffy brush and I just whiz it around and just pack it on. Brush the concealer and areas that I know will crease in the day. So to do my brows, I go in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in dark brown. Since getting this Anastasia Beverly Hills, I found that my brows are much quicker to do because before I'd pencil them in and then I'd go for powder, it would just take forever. This is so quick and easy, I can make sure I have really good brows in really quick time. When I'm in a brush, obviously I don't shape my brows fully compared to if I'm doing a tutorial. Today I'll show you how I do my brows really quick. So that is my brows done, really quick. They're not perfect, but remember, brows are sisters, not kids. So I'm going to go in with some bronzer and my Sigma F20 fluffy brush. So I kind of try and use my bronzer like contour. So I do do quite heavy on the cheeks. So for my blush and highlight, I do always wear highlight because I love highlight. I feel like it gives such a radiant glow to the skin and makes you look really healthy. So I go in with my MAC Nutcracker Palette Blush and Highlight. I do this one because I find the blush is perfect for daytime. It's like a little flush on the cheeks and the highlight is also perfect and it's in one compact. So it's just quick and easy to grab both of them from the same compact. My Royal Techniques blush brush. You should see I'm just a bit of a flush to the cheeks. Then straight in with the fan brush, I go in for the highlight. I just do a light, quick flick of highlight. You don't want it to look too much in the day. You all know I love my highlight. I do. Still put it like everywhere. Obviously in the day I don't wear false lashes because that would just be a bit too much. So I always wear mascara. So I'm going to go in with some lash colours. So one of my favourite mascaras is this L'Oreal Fibre Lash Mascara. I don't always use the fibre lashes, I just use the number one side and I find that it gives my lashes a really good effect. I just lightly coat it through. I do like my lashes to look natural and not clumpy still. And I just find that this mascara is perfect for it. So for a daytime look, I do like to either wear a lip balm or a nude creamy lipstick. One lipstick, however, that I do like to wear in the day is the NYX Lip Cream in matte. I love these little things, they are so good. They don't dry my lips out. I find that they don't transfer onto everything either. This one is in Stockholm. I love this one because it has like a pink tint to it. It's so quick to apply. And then if you just use your fingers to plot round, you can kind of even it out without having to use a lip liner or blot it properly. And then it goes like a stick. And then if I know I'm going to be running around all day doing errands and cleaning or 
whatever my day holds, I will use a fixing spray. This just makes sure I'm not like melting by lunchtime. <laughs> so one that I go to daily is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix. I do like my NYX ones, but I just think these are really good for daily use and they're cheap. So I just do a few swats and I find it just makes my skin look really good and melt the makeup into my skin more so it lasts longer. So that is my daily makeup. It is still quite heavy for some people I'd say, but for me this is how I like to wear my daily makeup. So I think this makeup tutorial is perfect if you're a busy mum like me, if you have a work and you need to get ready quick and look presentable, but even if you're going to school and you want a natural look. Obviously you can go lighter on some products and change some things up to suit what you need. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did remember to click thumbs up and click down below to click subscribe and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.